do see poison ivy, especially around the months of May, June, July, when people start gardening, but realize that even the poison ivy that has dried up in winter can actually still have the sap. So it can occur all year round, but the peak of the poison ivy is actually during the summer months and uh, the fall when people are cleaning up their gardens. Poison ivy is not difficult to diagnose because actually an exposure within about four hours to uh, four days of the exposure to the poison ivy, you can have blisters which are um, very itchy, intensely itchy blisters in the skin, usually uh, in linear form or in streaks. And it can progress, the rash can progress within a period of two to three weeks and then will improve on their own. Not everybody exposed to poison ivy will have the rash. Only about 50% of people who have been exposed to it will actually have the rash. It also depends on the degree of your exposure, if you were exposed a lot, and in the area of the body that you were exposed. So for example, the face is a very sensitive area of the skin, it's a very thin, skin as opposed to the palms of your hand and so the reaction could be more severe in thinner areas of the skin. Well there are a lot of treatment for poison ivy but the most important is to one is prevention that's very important there's a what you call leaves of three leave them be meaning if you see the poison ivy uh, leaves of three uh, avoid it a second is avoiding contact with this, wearing clo uh, full clothing, long sleeves, uh, gloves that are thick vinyl gloves because uh, the sap of the poison ivy actually penetrates. If you do get exposed before you get into the house, take off your clothing because the sap can stay in your clothing and uh, wash your hands uh, very well after you come in, which includes uh, usually within the two hours. Now, once you do get it, you, would, you could apply some soothing agents on it. You can put ice and you can put some topical soothing agents like calamine lotion, which a lot of people use, and uh, topical corticosteroids.